Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Legendary Hunter and today, sorry my mic was muted and I just noticed, um, anyway, thank you ladies and gentlemen for uh, tuning into today's video, I'm going to be giving you NFL statistics based off of my knowledge from uh, what I'm reading off the computer, so we're going to start with our passing leaders today, um, Number one, we have Aaron Rodgers, quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, who played uh, in Tennessee at LP Field, and uh, they lost 47 to 25 to the Tennessee Titans. Um, he had 51 pass attempts with 31 completions, 31 out of 51 pass attempts, uh, completed pass attempts with 30, 371 uh, passing yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions thrown. He uh, threw for five, or he was sacked five times, and fumbled zero of them. Uh, Jameis Winston comes in second, quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They played versus Chicago and won 36 to 10. Uh, Jameis Winston threw 33 times to his receivers and completed 23 out of those 33 pass attempts. Uh, he passed for 312 yards with two touchdowns, threw for one interception, and was sacked four times and fumbled none. Sam Bradford comes in third, quarterback of the Minnesota Vikings. He played at Washington and lost 26-20 to to Washington Redskins. He threw 40 times to his receivers and completed 31 out of those. 40 pass attempts. He threw for 307 yards, uh, scored two touchdowns, and or he passed for two touchdowns. Inter uh, threw one interception. He was sacked three times, and fumbled none. Drew Brees comes in fourth, quarterback of the uh, New Orleans Saints. Uh, he played versus Denver at home. And he lost 25 to 23 on a bad kick by Will Lutz, the kicker. Or it was a blocked kick by Will Lutz. And um, he threw 29 times and completed 21 out of those 29 pass attempts. Threw for 303 yards. Uh, scored three touchdowns, uh, passed two interceptions, and was sacked once, and fumbled it zero times. Joe Flacco, he is the quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. They beat Cleveland 28-7 on Thursday night. And he threw for, he threw 41 times for, uh, 41 times, 30 completed passes. Uh, he passed for 296 yards with three touchdowns, two interceptions, and two sacks. No fumbles. Marcus Mariota, the Tennessee Titans quarterback, played Green Bay and won 47-25. Um, he passed 26 times and completed 19 of those passes. Threw for 295 yards, and got four touchdowns, he threw no interceptions, was sacked twice, and fumbled at zero times. Matt Ryan, the quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons, uh, played in Philadelphia. He lost 24-15 versus Philly. He threw 33 times and completed 18 
out of that 33 passing attempts. Um, he passed for 267 yards, um, threw one touchdown, threw it through one interception. <sighs> Stupid freaking time. Through one interception and was sacked twice. And no fumbles. Blake Bortles, the quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars, played Houston and lost by three points, 24 to 21. Uh, Blake Bortles threw 49 times. Was... He uh, completed 32 of those 49 passes, passed for 265 yards, threw for two touchdowns, one interception, was sacked twice, and fumbled it once. Kirk Cousins, the quarterback of the Washington Redskins, played Minnesota and won 26-20. <clears throat> he threw for 33 passing attempts, completed 22 of those, passed for 262 yards, Scored two touchdowns, threw zero interceptions, one sack. He was sacked once and did not fumble. And number 10 on the list is Cam Newton, the quarterback of the Carolina Panthers. He played versus Kansas City at home and lost 20-17. to he threw 38 times, completed 23 of those passes, passed for 261 yards, threw one touchdown, uh, passed one interception to Marcus Peters, was sacked twice, and fumbled it zero times. Now on to the... Uh, now on to... The running leaders... DeMarco Murray comes in first for Tennessee, played Green Bay, 147-25. He had 17 rushing attempts. He rushed for 123 yards, got one touchdown, and fumbled at zero times. Ryan Matthews, the running back, one of the running backs for Philadelphia, played versus Atlanta and won 24-15. <clears throat> Give me a second. Uh, he had 19 rushing attempts. He rushed for 109 yards and got two touchdowns in today's game. Uh, and he fumbled no times. Jordan Howard, one of the running backs for Chicago, played in Tampa Bay and lost 36 to 10. He had 15 rushing attempts, rushed for 100, 100 even yards, got no touchdowns, and one fumble. Matt Forte, the running back, one of the running backs for New York Jets, played versus Los Angeles and lost 9 to 6. Now, um. He had 20 rushing attempts. Uh, he had 19, 98 rushing yards, no touchdowns, and no fumbles. Rob, Rob Kelly, one of the running backs for Washington, played versus Minnesota, won 26 to 20, and he had 22. Rushing attempts, rushed for 97 yards, got no touchdowns and no fumbles. Uh, Jay Ajayi is playing right now in San Diego for Miami. He's playing in San Diego right now in the third quarter with 2.27 to go as we speak right now. Uh, it is 17 to 14. And I'm not sure who's winning, but it's 17 to 14 in the third quarter right now, as we speak. It'll probably be over by the time you're watching it. But anyway, it's 17 14 right now. He uh, currently has 16 rushing attempts. Currently rushed for 88 yards, and has no scores yet so far, and no fumbles yet so far.
Lamar Miller, one of the running backs for Houston, uh, played at Jacksonville and won 24-21. He had 15 rushing attempts and got 83 yards out of it. Uh, no scores and no fumbles. Devon A. Booker, one of the quarter, uh, one of the running backs for Denver, played in New Orleans and won 25 to 23. Um, he had 24 rushing attempts, got 76 yards out of it, no scores and no fumbles. Wendell Smallwood, one of the quarterbacks for, or one of the re running backs for Philadelphia, played versus Atlanta at home, uh, won 24 to 15. Uh, he rushed 13 times, got 70 yards out of it, uh, got no touchdowns and no fumbles. And number 10 on the list from Baltimore is Terrence West. On Thursday night, they played Cleveland and won 28-7. He had 21 rushing yards, or I'm sorry, he had 21 rushing attempts, got 65 yards out of it, and zero touchdowns and no fumbles. Now on to the receiving leaders. Stephon Diggs for Minnesota played in Washington and lost 20 to 26. He had 13 he had 13 receptions in today's game for 164 yards with no touchdowns and no fumbles. Devon A. Adams for Green Bay was playing in Tennessee and lost 47-25. He had 6 receptions and 156 yards with no touchdowns and no fumbles. Julio Jones on the other hand with Atlanta played in Philadelphia Lost 24 to 15, had 10 receptions, and got 135 yards out of it with no touchdowns and no fumbles. Jordy Nelson plays for Green Bay. He played versus Tennessee, got uh, the loss 25 to 47, as you already know. Uh, he received 12 times, or he had he touched the ball 12 times, got 126 yards out of it with one touchdown and no fumbles. Delaney Walker for Tennessee played Green Bay, got nine receptions uh, for 124 yards with one touchdown and no fumbles. Kenny Britt plays for Los Angeles, played in New York versus the Jets, won 9-6, got 7 receptions with 109 yards with no touchdowns and no fumbles. Allen Robinson for Jacksonville played versus Houston, lost 24-21, has 9 receptions for 107 yards, 1 touchdown and no fumbles. Brandon Cooks for New Orleans played versus Denver. He had 3 receptions for 98 yards, 1 touchdown, and zero fumbles. Larry Fitzgerald for Arizona played versus San Francisco, or is playing versus San Francisco right now, as we speak. 20 to 10 in the third. So far, he has eight receptions for 89 yards and no touchdowns and no fumbles yet. Tyreek Hill for Kansas City played in Carolina, won 20 to 17, had 10 receptions, 89 yards, no touchdowns, and no fumbles. Now on to the kickers. Dustin Hopkins for the Washington Redskins played versus Minnesota and won 26-20. He made four out of four field goals, two extra points made for 14 points put together. Kairos, Kairos Santos for Kansas City played in Carolina 20-17 for the win. Uh, he made four field goals out of four attempts, uh, made no extra points, and got 12 points. Brandon McManus for Denver played in New Orleans, won 25-23, made three out of four field goals with two extra points for 11 points. Ryan Suckup for Tennessee. Played versus Green Bay, 147-25. Uh, he made two out of two field goals and five out of five extra points for 11 points. Robert Roberto Agoyo for Tampa Bay 
played versus Chicago and won 36 to 10, made two out of two field goals, made uh, four out of four extra points for 10 points. <clears throat> Caleb Sturgis for Philadelphia played versus Atlanta, won 24 to 15. He made three out of five field goals and one out of one extra points for 10 in the game. Matt Bryant for Atlanta played in Philadelphia, lost 15 to 24. He made three out of four field goals and missed his only opportunity for a for an extra point to give him nine points in the game. Greg Zerline for Los Angeles played versus New York Jets, won nine to six, made three out of three field goals and no extra points because there's no touchdowns. Chandler Catanzaro for Arizona is playing right now versus San Francisco as we speak in the third quarter, 20 to 10. He made he has so far made two touchdowns. I'm sorry, he has made two field goals out of two and made two field uh, two extra points out of two to make it eight points so far in today's game, third quarter. Justin Tucker for number 10 played versus Cleveland. He's a Baltimore Raven. On Thursday night, won 28 to seven. Got two field goals out of two field goals, uh, two out of two field goals, and two extra points out of two extra points. So that is going to do it for today's episode of. That's going to do it for today's episode of the NFL leaders. This is the NFL leaders episode one. I am Hunter Pullen or Legendary Hunter, we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.